Good morning, guys. We are here, stage three of the Bass Pro Tour on Lake, I almost said Lake Travis, the Harris Chain. Lake Travis was the last one. Uh, I tried to do a practice vlog, but that didn't work out so well. Uh, we had 30 mile an hour winds out of the go. east the last two days. And uh, it, it was a brutal, brutal practice out on the water just because of the wind and the waves. It really cut out the chances of finding offshore fish. I tried, never got it going, but I found a, a half decent flipping bite. And so we're going to try to develop that. We've committed to Lake Harris, so we're staying in the lake we're going out of. I won't lose any fishing time due to running. 80 pound braid, a punching rig. Um, I'm not punching physical mats, but you know, just flipping heavy Kissimmee grass and outside lines. It's a lot of fun when you get a bite, and I, I think you got a good chance to catch a big one. They're about to call my number, so uh, we're going to go lines in here in 30 minutes. Thank you guys for rolling with me. There's a big one. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Why didn't you eat it? Dude, that's like a five pounder. She like boiled on it, didn't eat it both times. How about that for a start? Oh, man. How about that for a start, dude? <laughs> Boom. It's a fat one too, dude. <laughs> That's a five pounder all day. Close to six. Five and a half? Five pound, three ounces. Five, three. Okay, not close to six. Oh, look at the belly on that sucker. Boom, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That was one of those that did. I flipped it in there and it goes, Pook! Man, I gotta stop doing that. I'm trying to figure out what the deal is here. Hey guys, I know it's really windy, I'll keep this short, but uh, pretty slow first period. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to have caught that five pounder. That's great, those go a long way. Um, not only for today, but in heavy hitters. That sets me up nicely if I don't catch another big one. Um, but the fish are kind of funky. I'd had probably 20 bites down this stretch of practice. Uh, that 20 bites turned to about four, maybe five. And um, we're just gonna have to do better. Well, I'm gonna keep fishing down this stretch for a little ways. Um, I've seen a few other anglers catch a couple fish, one pretty good one. I saw KVD catch a four pounder just a minute ago. But um, I feel like I'm possibly getting a little more dialed in on how these fish are sitting and what to look for, how they're positioned. It's a little different than practice. So we're going to.
going to run with that, flip more of the dense, heaviest cover, which is not what it was in practice, but today it seems to deal. Um, and see if we can uh, can't get onto something. If I don't get bit um, pretty well down this stretch in the next 30 minutes or so, we're going to run over to the more calm side of the lake and uh, stuff we can really pick apart. That was a big one when I stuck it. <laughs> two pounds, two ounces. Two, two. There you go. Show you guys my setup right here. Little punch skirt rig. This is a three quarter ounce weight. And a big flipping hook and a little Baobab Hog EX. A little beaver style bait. Pounds, 13 ounces. 213. Almost a three pounder. That's a little better. They're getting bigger. That is a fun bite. I mean, my dude, my bait sank like that far. You saw it as soon as I set the hook, he was on the surface. Gotta be careful though. I, when that happens, I tend to get a little excited and I'll slack line them, which can be a bad thing. This one's actually a little bigger. I think he's got maybe an ounce or two on that other one. Only 13 ounces. No, there's no way that's right. One pound, eight ounces. One eight? Yep. All right. Eight. Sweet. I kind of wish I'd have weighed that big one a second time because I thought she was bigger than five three. but skinnier. Barely hooked too. Yeah. One pound eight ounces. One eight. Dude, that's three, I, three <laughs> one eight. How about that? I was hoping that was going to be a big and I pitched in there and all the grass shook. stuff I get a bite. Pounds uh scoreable will take you uh, to probably fifth place. You can do that all 
you want. You're good luck. <laughs> little baobab hog, getting it done. ton of bricks like a big one too. I don't know if I need to switch up to a, to a jig or what. Three, two, one, lines out. Here we go. Overall I'm pretty happy with that period. I, I mean I had a lot of missed opportunities but we're sitting in a good place. Um, I'd like to catch me another you know, 10 plus pounds this next period. And I think if I can do that I should be able to go practicing for the uh, elimination round, which is something that you don't get to do very often, so that's the plan. So my goal was 30 pounds. My goal now is just to get another keeper bite. What's the cut line? The cut line is 14 pounds, 5 ounces. Oh. And then I'm thinking a little over 9 pounds above. Our way down that way here in a second. If I don't get a bite, you know, on one of these key little point, point places here pretty quick, I'll pull the troll motor up and move down there to where I actually got bit. Sooner or later, though, you put this in enough good looking places, it's going to swim off. Really big one. Come here, this is a really big one. Come here. Yes, look at that one, dude. Look at that one. Come on. Okay, look down his throat. I don't know what he's been eating. Baobab hog DX in the dome, baby. Come on. He's got a giant tail sticking out of his throat. Mm. Flip all day, that's what you get. for a dry spell, huh? Seven pounds, ten ounces. Seven, ten. He's got about a pound in, in his gut. He ate something. Look, I, don't, I wonder if I can pull those out of the Want to swab him? Yeah, let's swab him. I want to see what he's feeding on. That's a big one, guys. That's what, that's what you live for right there. I mean, a giant. Think she was ready to go? go hey it's okay to have a have a lull <coughs> if that's what you get on the other end of the lull i flipped it in there just like every other time she thumped it on the way down and i just took my time kind of almost expecting it to be a little one or for me to miss them because i've missed so many fish today and uh i didn't miss it that's so much fun fifth place all right got 30 pounds 13 ounces hey i said my goal was 30 pounds for today i really didn't think i was going to get there but we're there we're there let's go it's another big one no it's not either i'm sorry false alarm i mean he'll score i'm happy to have him that fish railroaded me did you see that that fish took me two pounds one ounce <laughs> two pounds that's not what we're here for apologize for everyone watching then i scream begging i hate when people do that and it's not a big one I'm just a little jacked up after catching that last one three two one lines out in the ground well well that was a good ending, man, to a really, really slow third period. Um, 
caught every single bass on one rod today. Kissler Z-Bone, 7.6, four power. It's just, I mean, it's a broomstick. Um, flipping a one ounce weight, a little Baobab Hog EX from G-Crack with a punch rig. And uh, so, I mean, it's, it's so much fun. I mean, the, the bites that I had today would blow your mind how hard they hit it. Uh, I had a lot of missed opportunities, so I mean, I kind of feel like my weight doesn't even reflect um, the potential. I definitely, I mean, I couldn't have caught uh, Brett Hyde or anything, but I could have possibly um, been in second. So uh, I'm optimistic. I'm in a good place uh, to make the knockout round. So I'll get to do a little practicing, and I'm excited about that.